I'm really excited about this next feature that I have to show you in this update of the software. This is something that um, I've always wanted to replicate the look of like hand stitching and I've always enjoyed seeing like those thicker strands of, of thread used when somebody's doing embroidery by hand and so I set out to try to replicate that look utilizing standard embroidery thread and using software and after testing a bunch of different things out um, I came to uh, kind of a formula for creating that look and so we've created a new tool called the satin bean stitch and I'll show you first before we get into it um, just the look of what this creates so this is actual stitch outs of a satin bean stitch and you'll notice that there's a couple different variations we have a three ply bean which goes forward back forward forward back forward and it kind of goes through and follows that um, the satin stitch shape and so this does work with the satin stitch so you create a satin first and then you apply this repeat pattern to it so this is a three ply this is a five ply bean this is a seven so it goes seven times before moving to the next one and this one's a nine and what I did is I figured out the density that worked best to give it kind of that hand look and so you can see that with a three ply 1.4 density was used 1.6 for a five ply 1.8 for seven and so on so this was the pattern that I created manually to kind of figure out how to make it work and look the way I wanted to and from here we created the tool and so the tool is not necessarily a brand new tool that you utilize you create a satin stitch like in this case if you can see you can see my outlines here this is just a simple like oval shape satin stitch in the properties box it has a density of 0.4 um, it has underlay inside of it if I turn off the 3d view you can see the underlay here and so when you have a satin stitch selected if you go to the properties box if you want to make this into a satin bean all you have to do is come down there's this new section right here called repeats and if I come in here and I hit the drop down I can choose one is the default which is a standard satin then you can go to a three five seven nine or even a random so if I choose three notice that when I chose three it changed the density automatically to 1.4 if I go to five it changes it to 1.6 this is based off of the testing that we did to kind of get that hand look that's still kind of an open look but it looks like thick threads used and so if I choose three and then you have this checkbox right here for repeat both sides I'm going to keep that selected and I'll show you what that means so I'm going to hit apply and what this has done is it's created this satin bean and I'm zoomed in pretty far so it looks like there's a lot of distance here there will be a little bit of distance that shows when you stitch this out but it's much closer than what it looks right here so if I do a slow redraw and I go from stitch to stitch I'll show you what happens here so this is kind of tacking it down so this is the first going from one side to the other like a standard satin it goes forward back forward and then it goes forward back forward and notice that the stitches are offset a little bit so that they don't go into the exact location every single time so forward back forward forward back forward a three peat and that's with the three ply selected so if I go back and I select it and I go into the properties box if I choose to uncheck the repeat both sides and hit apply I'll show you if I go stitch by stitch this is just a lock stitch it'll go forward and it'll go forward back forward jump to the next side forward back forward jump to the next side so you can see that it only does a bean going one direction and then it jumps over to the other side so instead of doing a one forward back forward forward back forward forward back forward it does a jump or a stitch one 
and then it goes forward, back, forward. Jumps over, does one stitch there, forward, back, forward. So it'll create a different look. By default, we have it selected to do repeating both sides. So let's change it now to a five ply and hit apply. And we'll do it one stitch at a time so you can see this. So it'll go forward, back, forward, back, forward, forward, back. So five times on each line. And if you noticed, it did change the density right here uh, to 1.6. If I choose it to 7, it'll do the same thing, but it will go seven times for each line. And this is how you create that hand look to your embroidery, utilizing the standard thread that you already own. So you don't have to have the thicker thread in order to accomplish this look. You can just use your standard thread to do so. And so now I'm going to change it back to one and I'm going to choose 0.4 for the density and hit apply so we can get back to the original. And this time I will choose random and choose apply. And so the random, what it does is it just randomizes things a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn the underlay off here. And if I go into the stitch mode, you'll see that it's going to go and it's just going to randomly do bean stitches. And not everyone is going to be the same number of times that it repeats. Um, one of the things that I will I would recommend with it is you want to utilize at least a two millimeter density um, and this again I'm zoomed in quite a bit so it's gonna look a little bit different um, and so when you're utilizing this you want to use something like a two millimeter and the reason is because it does like a seven or a nine ply a lot of times um, you could go maybe a little bit closer together, like 1.8, but you don't want to get the density too close together or else it's going to really put a lot of stitches in a small area. But the random is really neat because um, not only does it randomize the number of times that it repeats in different areas, but it also modifies the lines themselves so that they're not um, uniform anymore. So it creates kind of a more distressed look to it. So we hope that you enjoy this new um, random or this new satin bean stitch option and we really look forward to seeing what you create. Um, we recommend that when you do choose an option like a three ply um, work with the density at what it's set up before you move it and try to make it tighter or the stitches you know closer together. Um, stitch it out first using the recommended um, density and then go from there if you want to adjust it. So we hope you enjoy this brand new feature.